Jesus, we praise you. We cast all our cares on you because you care for us. We thank you that you're God present. You are he which is. You're he which was. You are he which and who is to come. And Lord, we praise you. We love you. We worship you. We thank you, Lord, that you're with us. Everyone that's in the house tonight, and those that are viewing right now, I pray the Spirit of the Lord cover your heart, cover your mind, fill you with such anticipation for the glory of the Lord. I want you to release your faith tonight. If you say, what do you mean? I just want you to do something. Raise your hands. Say, I love you, Jesus. Faith is motion. Faith is movement. It's like life. When we move, when we activate, the word says, faith without works is dead because it's alone. Faith needs companionship. And that's our movements. God, we praise you. Say thank you, Lord, for changing me tonight. Thank you for turning me, just like you did Saul, into another person. Thank you for transforming my life. Thank you for making me new tonight. I thank you, Lord, for the greatest season of my life right here, right now. I thank you that the heavens are attentive to my cry, to my prayer. Say it. I thank you, Lord, that the heavens of God are attentive to my cry tonight, to the prayers of my heart. You're with me. Come on. Prophesy. You're with me, Lord. I know you're with me. Your word declares you were with me. Your word is yes and amen. Come on, say it with me. Say your word is true, God. Your word is true. Your word is everlasting. You couldn't possibly fail me. Come on, tell him. You couldn't possibly fail me. You could not leave me or forsake me. You're with me always. Come on, say it. You're with me always. And if God be for me, if God is with me, there isn't anything between heaven and earth that can be against me. I'm walking into the greatest days of my life. Come on. I'm walking into the greatest season of my life. Doors are opening to me that have never opened before. Come on, say it. Doors are opening to me that have never opened before. The glory of the Lord is coming all over me. I'm walking in the fullness of God in a way I never have before. Come on, get, just dive into your praise tonight. God, I praise you for this night. I thank you for your word. Your word is everlasting. You are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. You're the same God that created man in the beginning. You're the same God that created the nations and the universe, hung the stars in their position, the sun and the moon. You're the God of heaven and earth. You're the God that called the prophet Elijah. You're the Lord that put the word in his mouth. You're the God that strengthened the arm of Samson. You're the God that gave him victory. You're the God of Moses. You're the God that led him with a simple stick in his hand and by the word of the living God made it a force of heaven. You're the God that parted the sea. You're the God that brought water out of a rock. You're the God that fed your people in the wilderness when there was no food to be had. You are the God of heaven. You are the God of earth. You're the God of Abraham. You're the God that gave us a word through a seed that could not be brought forth by human measures, but only by the word of the living God. And Lord, we praise you tonight. Come on, join me tonight. Get in this. You're the God of heaven. You're the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You're the Lord that revealed the ladder of heaven. You're God that set your angels about us. You're the Lord God that opened up the eyes of the servant when the prophet said, show them there are more with us than there are who are those against us. You're the Lord that opened the eyes of the blind, healed the lame. You opened the ears of the deaf. You loosened the tongue of the dumb and they spoke. 
You're the God that raised the dead. You're the Lord that called me. Say it. You're the Lord that called me. You're the Lord that saved me. You're God that redeemed me. You are the Lord of all. And you're God with me. All that you are. In all your greatness. In all your power. In all your word. Your wisdom. Your love. Your peace. Your honor. You're all that. Come on, say, you're all that. And so much more. And you're all that with me here now tonight you believe it give the lord a shout of praise come on shout to your god and bless his holy name for he is worthy in the heavens and he is worthy in the earth for the lord just as he speaks in the heavens and the four and twenty throw their crowns before him and say holy is the lord as the angels, the seraphims, and the cherubims cry out, Holy, Holy, Lord God Almighty. So that same Spirit is within the earth. Because the redeemed by the blood of the Lamb say, Lord, your kingdom come. Your will be done. Right here in the earth. Exactly as it is in heaven. Right now the Spirit of the Lord is loosing tongues. He's giving you ideas. There are dreams waiting for you to fall asleep so God can show you a mystery and a revelation. There's a time of rest. The Spirit of the Lord is waiting for some of you to just take your ease in the Lord. And when you do, your mind is going to be enlightened with revelation and instruction and insight. The peace of the Lord will fall on you. As He said, peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give to you. Do you believe that? I want you to lift your voice and shout, yeah. Express your faith tonight. Express your praise tonight. The Word says, come on. Come on. The Word says, shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Shout unto God with a voice of praise. Not only those in the house, but those that are viewing tonight, if there's something you're trying to find your way through, the best way to do it is to forget about what you're going through and set your praise. Maybe you can't, don't feel like you can even set your mind on the things of God, but you can set your voice to the things of God. You can set your word in alignment with the things of God. And it's amazing how your mind will begin to follow your words because you are created and redeemed and empowered by the spoken word of God. And when you allow yourself to stop being distracted and you open your mouth and you just decree the glory of God, that was the strength that met David in the wilderness. That was the strength that was inside of David when the lion snatched the lamb out of the flock and David was able to retrieve the lion with his bare hands that's where David found his power it wasn't because everything was going the way that it should David found his power when he was tried by the wilderness when he was tried by a wolf when he was tried by a lion when he was tried by a bear that's where he found his strength because his praise was unto God he would continually say I set my mind to know the things of God. Revelations 2 says, He, those, whoever has an ear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying to the body, to the church, to the one who is victorious. And how do we do that? He that has an ear, those that have an ear to hear, all you, it's so easy to love God, to serve God, to obey God, to be empowered by the Spirit. It is so, it's so easy. Most people miss it because it's just so easy. That's why Jesus said, come to me, just come. And you can't even say, I can't find you because the Word declares the glory of the Lord fills the entire earth. I just lift my voice and declare, God, you are present with me this very moment. It's not about a feeling. It's about a revelation. 
It's not about an emotion. It's about an expression of the word of the Lord in your mouth. God, you are with me. I want you to say that with me tonight. God, you are with me. Come on, say it. Come on, say it again. God, you are with me. Say it like you mean it. God, you are with me. Now shout, yeah! This is what it says. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Didn't say you felt triumphant. Didn't say you felt victorious. See, this generation that God is raising up are a people of ideas, new ideas. God says, I will to do a new thing. But not just ideas about business or technology. Ideas revelations about the mystery of God that is like the technology of spirituality. It's like the technology of a new mind. It, it, it's a technology of God. There's, see, the Word said, there's a generation that I'm raising up and you'll know they're there because they will begin to prophesy. They'll begin to say things that they wouldn't have said before. There's a courage that will rise up on the inside of them and they won't wait before or until they're doing better, they'll just declare, the Lord is with me. Just like David did. He didn't know what kind of strength he had. But he had a Nazareth heart. He had the heart of a Nazarene. He just consecrated himself before the Lord. See, the strength of Samson was because he had a consecrated mind. He had an idea that God was with him because the word of the Lord is, I'll be with you. And every patriarch of the Old Testament to the New Testament to the present day every idea you can have of God doing something incredible God doing something great you can grab it like a treasure you can make it your own see once the woman touched the hem of Jesus's garment and was healed then everybody started doing it it wasn't reserved just for her but she made a reservation to make it her own and that's what it's really about, making it a reservation. I make a reservation to make this year. We're still in the year 2019. We still have a minute to close this year out in such victory, such glory, such honor, such praise, such power to the glory of God that when we remember this year, we will say, wasn't the Lord mighty with us like David did? Wasn't God mighty just like the word of the Lord was to the children he brought? A children of Israel brought out of Egypt when he said remember how I was with you remember the day God blessed you remember the little things remember the great things God just wants to get through to you in a different part of you than you even know exists it's that spiritual awakening it's that, that spiritual awareness and he's given you something he's given you an idea he's given you a mind he's given you an imagination and when you use that to the glory of God and you begin to say things like, I'll do great and mighty things because God has said so. See, everyone has faith. But when you apply your faith to the spoken word, not just saying, I know it can happen. I believe that. I've been saying it. But when you begin to live that activity throughout your day, God, your word is in me. Your word is nigh me, even in my mouth. Your hand rests powerfully on me God you open my eyes to then you begin to prophesy you don't have to be a prophet but God has assigned you a prophetic signature God has put your name in the kingdom of God and there's something God wants to say through you it doesn't matter whether you're absolutely unaware of what I'm even talking about your design your creative prophetic moment was processed on the inside of you before you could even make a mistake before you knew how to utter your first word. That's why the word says, you knew me in my mother's womb. You set my bones in order. You set my heart. You numbered my days. You called me out by name. And God says, all I want you to do is learn to live in a place higher than you're able to do physically. That's why I gave you a body so you could experience the wonder of God taking you beyond what this says and begin to hear from the Spirit of the Lord. Those that have ears, those that have ears, God's just saying, if you're just willing to hear.
Willing to hear. Willing to hear what God has to say. Willing to hear. I'm willing to hear. Not wait. Hear today. Willing to hear. I'm willing to hear. Spirit of the Lord. I'm willing to hear. I'm willing to hear. His word is like a sword. Cuts asunder, dividing soul and mind. Reveals the wisdom that God has put inside. Opens up a man and woman in such a glorious way. You stand in the power and say, this is the day. With the glory of His Spirit and the power of His might. My eyes are open. My ears are open. I can see beyond the night. The glory of His wisdom and the Spirit revealing power. Says this, my son and daughter, is your moment. This is your hour. If you believe it, shout! One more time I say, one more time, one more time I say, one more time. Declare the glory and the wisdom of your God. Believe that He is with you. It's not a facade. He is the Lord of heaven, the God of peace and power. He's the Lord that reigns and rules in heaven and earth this hour. He says, I will unite you and not divide. I will show you my spirit from which you cannot hide. My hand is upon you and rest in solemn power. Believe the Lord your God is with you this very moment and hour. Do you believe it? Shout, yeah! Make a joyful noise. Shout unto God. Shout unto God. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Shout unto God with a voice of praise. Shout unto God to the Lord of your glory. Glory, honor, bless his name. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Shout unto God. Voice of praise. Lift your voice. Lift your hands. Bless his holy name. God said to the children of Israel, there's a wall that's so wide, the chariots run across the top of it. People so mighty, their land is blessed. Their fields are blessed, their vineyards strong. Mighty people, all day long, they have the power to rule the land. Victory! is in their hands but God said to them believe the Lord just walk around the walls without a sword lift up your voice and declare my name obey my word and I'll make you the same I'll give you the land the land of promise you see I'll give you glory and honor I'll show you victory the walls that are wider than you could build your own the Lord God says I will bring them low and show you I am God with you, the Lord that leads and guides you, keeps you, hides you. And declare for the rock to stick it in my hand with the Lord your God, I'm with you. Every moment in this land, I'll show you my spirit, I'll show you my power, I'll show you this moment, I'll show you this hour, I am God. God with you. Come on. God with me. Say it. God with me. Come on, say it. God with me. Come on, everybody. Put your hands together. Don't just stand there. Shout! If we'd have a great time in the Lord, we just glorify, praise, and shout unto God. Give the Lord our strength. God will draw people from the east and the west and the north and the south. Where every place you go, they'll feel just as, it'll just be like a fragrance coming from you. Because you've mastered the spirit of praise. That's what we're called to be. We're called to be master worshipers. Worshiping God. Mastering it in spirit. Mastering it in truth. That's why he said, make a joyful noise. Just shout unto your God. Just draw your mind. Draw your words. Draw your voice. Draw your energy. Draw your insight. Draw it to God and see what God will do. There's a time right here. Right now it exists where God will open your mind and everything that resists. He will break it down, tear it apart, deliver you every moment, every single part of it. And God will say, your mind is clear. Your heart is free. Your spirit strong. You're away from me. I'll show you a way you've never known before. 
There's a door that stands before you Seems so locked, so dense, impassable But God says I'll open it to you Just like I did Didn't Paul and Silas see the hand of God Release them from the prison they were in So today, the Spirit of the Lord says I'm with you, you're going to win Just declare with the Lord is with you that the Lord your God will guide you. That the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. He's with you all the time. Shout, 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 shout. Yes! Come on. Shout, 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 shout. Yes! Shout, 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 shout. Yes! Come on. Shout. There's something that happens on the inside when we just give God the strength that we have. We just give God praise. We just pour ourselves out. There's something that happens to your mind that empowers you, that strengthens you. There's something that changes about your attitude, your wants, your wishes, your desires, the way you feel, the way you used to feel, the, the things that start to happen, declare the God's glory and God's favor because he said, I've given you all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who has called you. What did he call you to? Virtue. What is that? Power and glory. Is there anyone in the house? Is there anyone viewing tonight? Even if you're not here and you say, I want to see the greatest change in my life and everything related to me than I've ever seen it, ever, ever before. I want to wake up in the morning and say, my God, who is this? Abraham felt like that one day. When God said, look out at all that you can see, as far as your eye can see, I'll be with you. I'll be with you. I'll be with you. I'll be with you. What has God done? Look and see what God has done for me. Given me glory, victory, peace, wisdom, and power. I praise Him this moment, this hour. Say, if God be for me, say it. If God be for me, come on, say it. If God be for me. This is what's happening right now. We're breaking over a wave. There's something just on the other side. God said there's something just on the other side of the sea. And to the children of Israel, it looked absolutely impassable and impossible. But God said, there's something on the other side of the sea. I just want you to believe that I'm going to take you someplace you've never been before. I want to open up a door. I want to show you something you've never seen before. I prophesy vision and revelation. According to Joel. When he prophesied and said, in the last days, says God, this is what's going to happen. When will those last days ever happen? When will they ever come to pass? When the people lift up their voice and say, these are those last days. These are those moments. This is the hour. This is the season that God has declared. The Lord has said it, and it will surely come to pass. I want to ask you a question. If you believe you are those people, I want to hear you shout yes. The word of the Lord is so powerfully in your mouth right now. This is what Jeremiah said. He said, but if I say, I will not mention his word or speak anymore in his name, his word is in my heart like a fire. You ever felt like that? Have you ever felt like that? His word is in my heart like a fire. He said, a fire shut up in my bones. I want everyone to just raise your hands right now. Raise your hands high. I want to hear your voice and say, your word, your word, your word is in my heart. Come on. Your word, your word, your word is in my heart. Lift your voices. Your word, your word, your word is in my heart. Like a fire shut up in my bones I cannot I am weary of holding on to it 
indeed I cannot Let me hear you. Join me. Come on. Jesus. 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 Come on, shout his name. Lord God, we praise you. For you are attentive to our words. Your heavens hear our voice. Heaven's ears are attentive to the prayers of your people. We stand right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we declare to the glory of God. There is such a release from the heavens of God right here, right now. That those things we have stood on, those things that we have believed, just as Moses stretched his rod across the sea and the impossible happened. Just as he spoke to the rock, and water began to flow. Just as they marched around the walls in accordance with your word, and there was a shaking, and the walls fell flat, and you gave them victory. Just as David stood before Goliath and spoke the word of God, and victory was released into his hands, that day he went home saying, What was ha what just happened? What what did God just do today? When Samuel heard the word of the Lord and God said, I'm calling you. I'm raising you up as a prophet. And his mind was in a world saying, what just happened today? I release in the name of Jesus what just happened today. To the glory of God, you will shout and you will sing. You will praise the Lord's holy name. What just happened? Come on, prophesy. What just happened? We're coming into a what just happened today. Come on. What just happened today? We're coming into a what just happened today? What just happened today? What just happened? What, what, what just happened? Say, say. What just happened? What, what, what just happened? What just happened? What, what, what just happened today? What just happened? What, what, what just happened today? I will glorify the Lord, for He has done wondrous things. We will glorify the name of the Lord. We will bear witness in this place that the hand of God has done mighty things. Testimonies will come one after another, after another, after another, after another, after another. And when the house is filled with testimony, yet more will come in. As a river that runs, says the Spirit of the Lord. Every place that you will declare my name. Every place that you say, the Lord will fortify us. And the Lord will give us honor and victory. Every place that you declare my name in righteousness and truth, says the Spirit of wonder. I will show you the plunder of the nations of the earth. It will sound to you like waters, waves, and thunder. You will save the Lord. God is truly with us. I am so thankful to God that I stayed the course, that I believed His Word, that I did not faint. And even though I felt weary, the Lord has strengthened me that I stand here today saying the Lord is my strength. He is my honor. He is my victory. He is my strong arm. The Lord has fed me when there was no food in the cupboard. The Lord has given me water when there was no well. The Lord has shown me a path when I saw nothing but a wall. The Lord has opened a door when there was nothing but a rock that stood between me and my victory. God has made a way where there did not seem to be any passable way. The Lord has given me honor of those that stand around me. The Lord has borne witness that His Spirit is upon me. The Lord has become creative in His people. They are doing things people would have said that will never come to pass, O oh, dreamer. But the word of the Lord says, dream on, for I will give you the desires of your heart. I will show you plenty in the land barren. I will make ways in the wilderness. I will bring up springs 
where they say there is no water. I will show you the revenue of my favor, says God. And I will show you the day when they say it is night. I will show you the rain when they say it is a day of drought. I will show you increase when they say there is nothing to receive from the ground. I will show you favor and honor when they say they are angry at everyone. They won't let you in. I will give you passage. I will show you that I am the Lord your God who stands with you and shows you an open door of favor. This is that hour. You believe it? Lift your voice and shout. Yeah! Shout to your God. Shout to your God. Come on, shout to your God. I hear your prayers. I'm never deaf to your cry. I say to you, believe me, that what you say I have put in you. I will satisfy the longing of your heart. I will show you, even those who have prayed, that you say it seems as though they will never be saved. Some people are about to change. Some lives are about to turn around. Some people in this house, people that are viewing tonight, you're about to see some salvation in your family. You're about to see some transformation in your family. The Spirit of the Lord is moving radically and powerfully through you. This is, this is, this is that. That what just happened day. This is, this is, this is that. What just happened day. I feel, and we've called it out. There's an excitement. I feel an excitement. Some of you sitting right here. Because you, you've awakened in the morning and you're just like, did it really happen? Did it really happen? I mean, was that a dream? Some of you are going to wake up because the hand of the Lord has been so gracious on you. You're going to wake up and think that that actually, did, was that a dream? Or did it really happen? And you're going to say of the Lord, it really happened, and it's greater than I would have anticipated. But it is not just what just happened. It's what is about to follow what just happened. It's about what is about to take place out of what just happened. It wasn't just the children being led out of the land of bondage. It was about what was just about to happen. It wasn't that God led them across the sea, but it was about what was just about to happen. It wasn't about the rock yielding water and them standing there saying, my God, can you believe? But it was about what was about to happen. This is that season where it is about what is about to happen. Well, what the Lord declares is I want you to declare what is about to just happen. Open your mouth, believe in your heart, and don't stop saying the Lord is in my mouth. The word of the Lord is close to me, in my heart, in my mind. The Lord has spoken. Our sovereign God has spoken his word. How can we help but prophesy? Do you believe it? Lift your voice and shout, yeah! Jesus, Jesus, free us. Free the mind of your people. Fill them with joy. Let there be interpretation that says revelation is greater than your ploy. I'll show you an idea that will defeat your own plan. Because what you've been building and calling a castle is no more than an image in the sand. But what I'm building and what I'm bringing to pass says the Spirit of the Lord will last generation after generation and they will say it's by the word of the Lord. Do you believe it? Lift your voice and shout, yeah! Mighty God, the Lord is in this place. Say, mighty God, mighty God, the Lord is in this place. Some of you just been believing. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. Some of you been believing. You've been saying, God, I need you to do this and I need you to do that. Right now, I want you to thank God. I want you to do. Say this with me. Father, I want you to testify through me. Use me as a testimony. 
do something so beyond what I've asked you to do that those around me see your hand of favor on me that I bear witness in my own spirit that the hand of the Lord is upon me that I see the favor of David the blessing of Abraham the power of the Spirit of the Lord on the day of Pentecost I'm going to say things that testify of your goodness and your glory and then I'm going to walk in them I'm going to bear witness and bear testimony that the Spirit of the Lord my God is upon me you believe you're that person I mean you know to be not by feeling not by emotion but according to the word of the Lord you know you're that person I want you to lift your voice and say here am I here am I here am I Lord use me here am I Lord send me as Isaiah said here am I Lord send me send me with your word and God gave him a word out of the heavens of God Jesus in my rest in my rest in my rest in my rest the word says six days God created everything that we see and on the seventh day he rested it wasn't that he was tired what it was talking about is God, God came to a place of saying everything is complete everything is a hundred percent solidified and done and I've given you victory. All I want you to do, I just want you to believe my word. What will strengthen you more than anything else ever is to declare the word of the Lord with such a confident voice, even if you don't feel it, with such a confident voice that the heavens know that your declaration is one of faith. Faith is a life. Faith is a motion, a movement. It's an actuation. And it becomes a time. Time is an event. When you do something, that's time. When something moves, when you actuate something, that's time. But more than that, it puts you in authority. In other words, you're in charge. The devil's not in charge, so he can't mess with your stuff. Your enemies are not in charge, so they can't thwart your plans. And that's what God said in the beginning. He said, I've, everything I've done... And it's a day of rest, meaning I want you to enter into this just with obedience to my word. And know that my word is the satisfaction that you're looking for. And then again he said, he said, there therefore remains a rest unto the people of God. That same rest that he prepared in the very, very beginning. What are you talking about rest? Where you don't have to fight to be right. You don't have to contend to stay in victory. You don't have to push and prod and pull just to try to keep it together. There's a revelation. The word says David obeyed God all the days of his life. Literally made one mistake. He's a man. This is before the new covenant. And the strength of David was the Psalms of his heart. He used his mouth as an instrument to glorify God until he started just creating. He made many, many instruments. It's the exact same thing when the words of our mouth become the force of our lives and we watch, watch over one thing, watch over your words. It's not that you have to control this and you have to control that. When you begin to control the words of your mouth, it is the essence of your future. I love what Paul said. Paul said you can speak with tongues in 1 Corinthians 14. He says, but I wish that you all prophesied. I mean, I speak in tongues, he said. And I want you to speak in tongues. But I wish you would prophesy. And you might say, I, I, I'm not a prophet. I don't know what to prophesy. I don't know how to prophesy. Sure you do. That's where you begin. I can prophesy. The word of the Lord is in my mouth. I can speak the word of God. His word says, his word is nigh me. It's close to me. Even in my mouth. I can prophesy. I can speak the word of the Lord. And God, I praise you because your word is in my mouth. God doesn't want you to come in doubt before him, seeing if, if, if he's going to do something. God, just like Jesus, when the centurion said, don't come, just say the word, just speak it, just say it. 
and, he, and when he did Jesus said that's what I'm talking about that 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 moves my heart and when you start out victoriously and what I mean is when you just start out saying God your word is in my mouth and I'm so successful I'm so healthy I'm healthy I'm strong I'm vibrant I'm alive I'm joyful I'm peaceful I'm powerful God I thank you I'm the happiest person I know I'm the most powerful joyful excited anticipate individual I know your word is on me I don't know anyone else in the world your word is on more than it is on me it's not arrogance it's prophesying the word of the Lord God doesn't want you coming with doubt and unbelief your only enemy is doubt and the only power of doubt is that you don't exercise the word of faith this is the victory that overcomes the entire world not weapons not warfare not technology not the smartest person in the room this is the victory your faith what is your faith how do you know you even have it well I I, I, I don't know I do because I don't feel it faith will never feelings will never tell you where your faith is or how powerful your faith is the words of your mouth the idea of just taking a step and saying God said it you never feel righteous or holy enough to do what God has called you to do until you say Lord your word is in my mouth I'm holy as you are holy because your word says so I'm righteous as you are righteous because your word says so I'm at peace just like Jesus said I leave you peace because your word says so I am the testimony of your word I'm a living identity of your word I'm the identity of righteousness I'm the identity of peace I am the picture of health and joy and peace and wisdom. I am the picture of increase and prosperity. I'm the picture of favor and life and love. I'm the picture of someone that is liked and favored and blessed of the Lord. I'm a witness and a testimony that God is with me. When people look at me, when they walk by me, they can feel the presence of the Lord. God will create in you. everything you believe him for what Jesus meant when he said you can speak to a mountain we don't need to move the landscape around there's not really any reason for it but he was saying if you believe and just won't stop speaking I mean we talk all the time God your word is in my mouth you can take your seats The word made it so simple. That's why Jesus said, come to me. All that labor and are heavy laden, I'll give you rest. And then the word says, there therefore remains a rest under the people of God. They didn't enter in just because they didn't believe it was there. Only reason. So you have a prophetic voice telling you that rest not only resides, but it presides. It presides right here, right now. The prophet said, your words I have spoken in the Old Testament, there was a lot of judgment. God spoke through a lot of judgment, bringing correction, instruction. One time, Jeremiah said, he said, man, he said, I've prophesied and I've spoken your word and some people don't like me. They're after me. They're angry at me. He said, but if I determine not to prophesy, I just read it. If, if I say, I'm not going to prophesy or mention your name, it burns in me. It's like a fire that shut up in my heart, like a fire shut up in my bone. It keeps coming out. And the reason is because Jeremiah began to prophesy the word of the Lord without feeling. God would say something to him. He would inspire him and he'd release that word. The word of God is good news. And when you have good news, you need to declare it before you acknowledge any bad news. And if you continue to do that, the bad news will be overcome by the good news. Make the least of the worst, the most of the best. I will say of the Lord, He is my God, He is my strength, my fortress, the one in whom I trust, my shield, my buckler. I will not be afraid. For the Lord God is greatly with me. It's not okay to do the best you can. I want to tell you, it's not close to being good enough. The best you can stinks in the eyes of God, the nose of God, the nostrils of God. The best you can do is a failure in the eyes of God. But what we believe, when we believe in Him and to Him, that pleases God. Why? Because He made you in a greater measure, a greater way, 
than the efforts of your mind. And when you stop thinking and believing, I've messed up, or I'm broken. I'm talking to someone here that needs us tonight. In the house, someone that's viewing. When you stop thinking about trying to get yourself better so you can do better, and you just begin to declare, I am as he says I am. And you can say, I just heard the Lord speak. God just spoke. And he spoke through me. How did David get to the point that he was? How did Abraham get to the point that he was at? How did Elijah become Elijah? And Elisha, Elisha. When Elijah found Elisha, he was out with a bunch of stinky ox plowing a dirty field. And the word of the Lord to Elijah was, go down and find Elisha and anoint him as prophet. And Elijah did something very unusual. Because Elijah had walked in the word of the Lord. He knew what it was like to release a word even when he felt intimidated by the situation. So when he walked by, he gave Elisha a heads up. He gave him a little bit of a push he just threw his cloak on him and walked off and Elisha said hey hey wait a minute let me and it, let, let, let me take care of some business here and and I'm gonna follow you Elijah said I have to do with you I just needed a place to hang my cloak maybe he's, I can imagine his problem maybe maybe a little dirty a little stinky I'm through with this go wash it for me or throw it away it's not what it looks like it's what it should be like. It's not what you see. It's the vision God's given you. Even when you're disappointed. Even when you're discouraged about what is. That's just the hand of God. That's just another way of God saying say it. Say it's greater than this. There's so much more than this. The moment you begin to feel discouraged or down. Or just like ah, man I just someday. There is no someday. There's only today. This is the day. That's what God has been trying to, if I can say it like this, get across to us. Just, I will say of the Lord, I will say of the Lord, this is the day. God made it. Didn't show up. Didn't just happen. God made it. And I'll rejoice and be glad in it. Elijah said to Elisha, what did I have to do with you? But Elisha followed him. The word says he would not leave him. Even when Elijah told him, stay back. That moment of transfer. When something incredible was about to happen. Because it always takes the spirit of the word of the Lord to take you beyond what you feel. Beyond what you did yesterday. Beyond what you thought the day before. And Elijah told him. Stay back when he was about to be taken away. Fifty prophets said, you know, your Lord's going to be he, going to be taken. And at one point he just said, I want, I want everybody to just stop talking. And Elijah said, stay here. He said, I won't. I'm not staying back. I'm, I'm going with you. I'm going with you. And he had something in his heart and there was the only thing that God could honor in order for him to be the prophet in Elijah's stead. He didn't say, I want what you have. I want it like it was. He said, I want more than you've ever done. I want, I, want to, I want to do what you didn't finish. I want to do what you didn't do. There was such a resonating power on Elisha that when he was dead and in a hole, they threw a body on him. It hit his body and came to life. There's power in the word of the Lord. And there's transformation only in one place. It's not waiting for someone to get better. It's not waiting for someone to like you. It's not waiting for someone to get saved. And it's not wait, we waiting to try and get someone. It's when that spirit on the inside of you just begins to transform you. I was a kid. I remember I didn't know anything about God. I didn't know anything about the Word. I didn't know anything about church. All I knew is that my sister was in the hospital at five years old and they thought she was going to die. And someone said, my mom said, I remember, you know what I remember with that last resort thing. I remember they said, you can pray for people and God heals. So they just said, go, you know, go to church. So I just went to church. I had no clue. 
But as I sat there and I just listened, something, a word, I don't even remember what the word was, but something hit me. And when they, they gave, I, I honestly don't think they even gave altar call that night. I, I just got up. Now, now understand, I knew nothing, as in nothing, about that kind of church. This kind of church, I was told those people are just a little strange. Uh, I've met some strange people in the church, but... Something just drew me beyond emotions, beyond understanding, beyond reason, beyond reason, beyond reason. Is God saying something to you about, I want you to think beyond reason, beyond what's reasonable, beyond what's doable, beyond what's been done before? Some of you are sitting here tonight, some of you are viewing right now. And you're thinking about what God wants, what you would like God to do, but God's thinking about what he'd like to do through you, what he'd like to do for you. The scriptures say it like this, his thoughts towards you are so much and so many that you can't number them. You, you couldn't even fathom how greatly and how much God is thinking about you. And it all begins by saying, God, just change me. I remember again, I just being drawn up there and something that I couldn't explain changed my mind. Didn't really have a lot of people around me to teach me. God became my teacher. The Spirit of the Lord began to teach me. And I remember reading in the scriptures, seek the Lord. Seek him and he'll be found of you. So I just get on my knees and I just pray the best I knew how. And God began to speak through me. What I'm saying is you don't have to know anything about anything. It says the Holy Spirit will lead you. And he will teach you in the way you should go. All you have to do, one thing. Just want it. Just want it. I just want to be the way I'm, I should be. I want to I feel the joy of the Lord. I, I want to be confident. I don't want the day's event to be the only thing that I look forward to. Because come nighttime, they're over. I want to be able to go to bed at night knowing God's hand is on me. The Spirit of the Lord is on me. His power is with me. And something great is probably going to happen while I'm sleeping. And when I wake up in the morning, something incredible is going to be taking place. I'm going to grow in the wisdom and the knowledge of the Lord. God's doing something great. God never lets you look at something that should be done and just tempts you with leaving it undone. But what He always does is takes you beyond what you imagined it would be. The word of the Lord for everyone in this house tonight is God wants to show you how much greater it can be than you imagined it to be. I'm going to ask you to stand to your feet one more time. I want you to pray with me. If you, if you were thinking, and if you're not, I encourage you to think this way. God, I want to be different. I want to be, like your word says, transformed. I want you to do something in me that's never been done before that's just incredible that just gives me such peace and such joy just do a work in me do in me what pleases you now pray with me if you believe that if you want that if you mean that say Lord God God of heaven and earth change me save me free me free me from fear from the past from doubt, from sin, set me free. Be Lord, really Lord of my life. I receive you as the Lord of glory, my Savior, my Redeemer, my God. I'm born of the Spirit. I'm born again. I'm new in you. And God do in me now the unusual, the unreasonable, the unthinkable, be glorified in me. I pray now, hear, O heavens, give ear, O earth. In other words, listen. Spirit of the living God, release the glory, the blessing, the favor, and the honor of God on me. Release your majesty, your mystery, 
your wisdom, your wonder. Pour it out on me, all over me, through me, in and out of me. And be pleased in me. Lead me to do things I would have never imagined I could do. This is something I want you to pray. God, strengthen me. Give me a desire. Burn within me with an unquenchable desire to do things that only faith can bring to pass. I say this to you. Some of you are going to be contacted. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a surprise. There's favor and honor coming in several different ways. People from the past will become part of your present in a miraculous way. God is being glorified in this place. People you've never met before are going to find a new relationship with you because God is doing something incredible through you and you're going to be a witness and a testimony of power to them. In other words, God's doing it on both ends, that which was and that which is to come. This is that season of time. This is that moment. This is that hour. It's been great, but it's not enough. It's been wonderful, but there's so much more. And we call here, O heavens, pour out your increase of more. Your kingdom come. Your will be done right here in the earth exactly as it is in heaven. Be glorified in us. Be glorified through us. Be manifested in us by your spirit and by your power. In Jesus' name. Anyone in the house feel the presence of the Lord tonight? Let me hear you shout. Anyone in the house feel the presence of the Lord tonight? This is the greatest, this is the greatest, this is the greatest season of your life. You're going to grow and grow and grow. This is a time of growing. This is a time of transformation. This is some of you walking away from one thing, walking into something so much greater. So far beyond, beyond. This young lady right here, that's you walking away from some of what used to be into the most incredible season of your life for the anointing because God's called you you're anointed to bring transformation and change lives God wants to speak through you there's a song within you that God wants to breathe through you and he's going to do it and this is that time it's just that simple without a big explanation I release you in the spirit of the Lord and just declare God use you in such an unreasonable way that all the season of the past just turns into mulch that feeds the seed that you are, that you're planted in. And all the memory of all that was is just simply God was with me through it all. The Lord kept me through it all. The Lord has raised me in it and simply God wants to use you in a way you've never been used before. And you know what? He justifies you to be ready for that season right here, right now. This is that time for you. God, we give you praise. We love and we thank you. We worship you, mighty God. God of heaven and earth. We glorify you. We praise you. We love you, Jesus. I'm going to open the altar for your support, your gift, your giving. Those that are viewing online and those in the house, if you need an envelope or anything, raise your hand. You can take your seats. This is a, this is a season of unusual. I, I, have been, I have been waking up with just this feeling I, I tried to share it with I did share it with my wife but to, to try and express just this this feeling of oh my, can you believe can you believe what God just did and I'm prophesying in my own house we will declare those words and I'm prophesying it over you in your house you're going to declare those words you're going to say God 
did it in a moment's time. I'm talking about things that are so huge, so incredible, that God is just, He's the word of the day, and the word of the minute, and the word of the hour, and the word of the next day. Because it's just God has, look and see what God has done. Look and see what God has released. Look and see what God has given me. Look and see the Lord's hand is on me. Look and see God poured through me. Look, the Lord is with me. God is with me. And He's really with me in spirit and in power. And guess what? We have the key. We know what it takes to move heaven and earth. And if we touch heaven and we do that, just like we did tonight, we just... We reach up and touch heaven, you know heaven's going to touch you back. And when it does, its increase is beyond, it's beyond excitement. Beyond excitement. Beyond excitement. Beyond excitement. I'm going to say this and then I'm, I, want who, I, I want you to own it. I just saw someone specific and something amazing just happened. I mean, on a huge scale. And this person just went, yes! Just like, oh my God, I cannot believe this. Yes! Finally happened. Own it. It's Elijah throwing the coat on Elisha saying, own it. You want this, you come and get it. You make it your own. 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 God, we praise you. We love you. We worship you. Stand your feet with me. Put your finger at the altar. Those that are viewing online, just point your finger in this direction. The blessing of the Lord is on your giving. The blessing of the Lord is on your faithfulness. The blessing of the Lord is on you. Put your finger right there and say, according to your word, O oh God, I declare blessing from the Lord. I declare increase from God. I declare the favor of God rests on me. Now I want you to say something. I want you to say I'm a giver. And I'm a bigger giver than I have ever been before. And I'm that right now. I'm going to act like it. I'm going to walk in it. And then I'm going to testify that God has increased me and made me as I have said. And as I have believed, in Jesus' name. And God, we give you praise.